Book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 through 21. Therefore I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is good, well-pleasing and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace that was given me to every man who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think reasonably, as God has appointed to each person a measure of faith. For even as we have many members in one body, and all the members don't have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another, having gifts differing according to the grace that was given to us. If prophecy, let's prophesy according to the proportion of our faith, our service, let's give ourselves to service, or he who teaches to his teaching, or he who exhorts to his extorting. He who gives, let him do it with generosity. He who rules with diligence. He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor that which is evil. Cling to that is good. In love of the brothers, be tenderly affectionate to one another. In honor, preferring one another, not lagging in diligence fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, enduring in troubles, continuing steadfastly in prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and don't curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Don't set your mind in high things but associate with the humble. Don't be wise in your own conceits. Repay no one evil for evil. Respect what is honorable in the sight of all men, if it is possible. As much as it is up to you, be at peace with all men. Don't seek revenge yourselves, beloved, but give place to God's wrath. For it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Don't be overwhelmed by evil, but overcome evil with good.